Movie Buffs, welcome back to the Movie Bay. This is D in today's video. We're gonna do movie night picks number five. So I added a new one. <clears throat> Before we just had horror, thriller, comedy, family friendly, action. Now we got drama, we're gonna add a drama. Now thrillers and dramas, can they can kind of go together a little bit, but dramas would be separate from thrillers. So I could see me adding more to probably get it up to about 10 different types. But for now, we're just going to go with the six from now on instead of the five. So start with our hard pick is a really good one. We have Darkness Falls. Darkness Falls is a really, really scary uh, horror movie. It's about this demon called the Tooth Fairy. And in the beginning of the movie, you saw the demon um, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an apartment with a woman and her son. And I do believe the demon kills the woman and the son was able to get away from the demon in the light. And it did a time jump to later where you saw the boy as a man and he's got some mental problems and he knows that you got to stay in the light to avoid this demon. It, it, it's, it's a really, really good underrated horror movie. Darkness Falls. You need to check this one out. Next up for our thriller, we got... My favorite movie of all times, if somebody asks me, what is your number one movie of all times? And I know that's crazy to, to have a number one, a one movie out of all the movies that you could say is a best movie for you. I got to go with seven. The, the team up between Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman to me was incredible. This movie, this movie had it all. Great acting, a banging ass story, and the tone, the... The, the, the background, the set, the set pieces that they used, how it was always just dark and gloomy and raining. It was just a, a, a really depressing movie with the, with the atmosphere, but it was also very chilling too. This is the perfect thriller in my opinion. Our comedy pick for this week is going to be Brewster's Millions. So you got Richard Pryor, you got, uh, it's, you got a star-studded cast in here. John Candy, Rick Moranis bop, popped in here. Good movie, funny movie. So Brewster's Millions. Brewster, he was he inherited $30 million from his uncle, but there was a catch. He had 30 days to spend $30 million, and if he succeeded, he was entitled to $300 million. Now think about that. Trying to spend $30 million in 30 days isn't really a, isn't really, I ain't going to say it's not hard, but nowadays you could do that very easily. You could blow 30 million in 30 days very easily nowadays. But back, because we got the internet now. But back in the 80s or 70s or whenever, I think it was the 80s when this came out, early 80s. Back in the 80s, $30 million to blow it in 30 days? That was tough. Watch the movie. You'll see how tough it was. And he couldn't give the money away. He had to have receipts for every dime spent. Our family pick for this week is going to be... Walt Disney's Mark Wahlberg, inspired by a true story of Vince Papali, a Philadelphia native who played for the Eagles, Invincible. Fantastic movie. I enjoyed it because I, I know the Vince Papali story very well being a Philadelphia native. Um, just a really good movie. You'll, you'll like this one. The whole family can get around the TV and watch this one. This is family approved. Our action pick for this week is one that I just, I like. And I and I just like this movie. I know some people don't like it no way near as much as I do. But with this movie, the acting was spot on for the type of movie this was. And the music, the environments, the set pieces they used in the music, the music, the music, the music. The soundtrack to this movie is absolutely banging. And that is Sucker Punch. It's a chick flick, but this is a chick flick done right. When you watch this, you won't really see this as a chick flick. You're going to see this as a really good fantasy type of action movie. It's really good. You're going to like this one. I'm trying to tell you, you're really going to like this one. This is one where actually the whole family could watch this because they the, the enemies that they, that they gunned down aren't there's no blood or anything. They're like me like mechanical beings or something like that. I don't know if I would let the whole young, young kids watch this, but older kids could watch this one. It's a good movie. You'll like this one. It's called Sucker Punch. Great story. Story is very different in that movie. And our drama. 
Our new category for the week is going to be Juice with Tupac Shakur, Omar Epps. This was just a really good movie. Hood movie, if you want to. I call these hood movies, hood dramas, whatever you want to say. But this is a good uh, drama to, to, to watch. It's a hood drama, so it's a little bit different than your standard drama. But Juice, you'll, you'll like this one. So let's go ahead and repick or recount uh, our family picks. We got Juice is our drama pick for the week. Our action pick for the week is Sucker Punch. Something different. Our family pick for the week is Invincible. Our comedy pick for the week is Brewster's Millions. Um, let's see here. Our thriller for the week is Seven. And our horror pick is Darkness Falls. That's your movie night picks number five. I see you number six. Thanks for watching.